Thanks so much, Jen. It's 616 here on News 3 this morning. Let's move on to other stories making news right now. The next big step in getting humans back to the surface of the moon happens in a T minus one month now. Yeah, as you said, time is ticking. Local scientists and engineers are playing a big part in NASA's Artemis one mission, making sure that it's a success. Our Anthony Sabella is live at NASA Langley Research Center in Hampton. So Anthony, what kind of work is going on there? Hey, good morning, Aaron and Blaine. So I'm actually inside what's basically the machine shop here at NASA Langley Research Center. And I love this stuff. This is so fun. We've got Jeremy Pinier here. And Jeremy, I know you are the Space Launch System Aerosciences team lead. So basically, he leads the team that's helping the Artemis One rocket in a month or so blast off, leave the Earth. And, and this machine is a big part of making sure that that happens successfully. That's right. You, what you're seeing here is state-of-the-art machine shop with uh, where we built parts and wind tunnel models to test these vehicles before we fly and make sure they're safe for the astronauts. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, when you're flying and the air is hitting you that, at those speeds, it, 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 you got to make sure that the rocket stays together. That's right. So we're, we're going to be flying at close to 5,000 miles per hour. We don't want that rocket to, to crush, be crushed into pieces. So sure. we've got to make sure it's safe. Yeah. For sure, for sure. So this machine helping build those models for the wind tunnel testing here. Langley's famed wind tunnel. I mean, it's been a around for a long time. Uh, I do want to talk about, you know, this mission, Artemis One. It's unmanned, but it is kind of the first step to getting the first woman and next man to the moon. Uh, what are you going to be like in a month when that when that Artemis One mission blasts off? Oh, I mean, we'll be ecstatic. This is going to be the culmination of 10 years of work for hundreds of technicians, engineers, researchers here at Langley that have given it all to, to, to make this mission a success. And so we're going to be so excited to see this rocket launch. And um, really, you guys should, should really um, go, go see it if you can. Uh, if not, watch it on TV for sure. For sure. Yep. Uh, I mean, this is historic. This is the first woman on the moon, the next man on the moon. I mean, this is something that we, most of us, have only read about in history books. So what is it like to be a part of something like that? Uh, I couldn't be more honored. Uh, to work with uh, people that have such talent um, and to be part of a historic moment like this uh, is just an amazing honor. Uh, I'm so grateful. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Jeremy, I love your shirt, by the way. He's got the Artemis logo right there <laughs> on his shirt. Jeremy, you've been with us throughout this whole process. Thank you for having us out here this morning. I really it's appreciate it. Absolutely. And, and you know, we're just getting started here at Langley. So coming up when you make the switch to WGNT, we're going to check out what really is kind of a legendary location here at the Research Center, one that helped astronauts in the Apollo missions get to the moon and now 50 years later or so is helping the, the Artemis uh, mission out get back to the moon. So very excited about this next portion for sure. Keep it here on News 3 until we make that switch to WGNT and we'll check back in in about an hour. We're live here at NASA Langley Research Center in Hampton. I'm Anthony Sabella. We'll send it back to you.